This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. And we have a spicy modern deck to look at this week. This is a deck built around a new M20 card, a sweet, powerful M20 card, one we played at standard before. It is Lotus Field, and this is Twiddle Storm. Basically, a deck that's looking to use Lotus Field to essentially combo off Storm through the entire deck, making tons and tons of mana. As you can see, 104 in paper, so basically 100 bucks and 43 ticks on Magic Online, so not a bad price for a surprisingly effective, really cool deck. A quick reminder before we break down Twiddle Storm for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Budget Magic in general, it would be amazing of you if you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So on one hand, Twiddle Storm is a kind of typical Storm deck. You're trying to get the Storm count up to 20, cast a Grape Shot to kill your opponent, but the way that Twiddle Storm gets there is very unique. So our main card, the card that we need most, we basically can't win the game without this card, is Lotus Field. So Lotus Field, you probably know what it does. Hexproof, comes into play, tap, you get a sack lands, but it taps for three mana. That's the big deal. And the idea of this deck is we're trying to play Lotus Field, and hopefully, right away, win the game uh, as early as turn three, because we do need to sack two lands, so we do need two lands before we play Lotus Field. And the main plan of this deck is to repeatedly tap Lotus Field for mana, and then untap it for less than the three mana it produces, so we're netting mana in the process. If we have a Lotus Field, we can tap it for three and untap it for one mana, we're technically plus two mana, which allows us to keep playing more spells and churning through our deck. So how do we go about doing this? And here we have... A couple of backup options, and then we'll talk about our primary plan. So, first off, we have one mana cards, and also Vizier Tumbling Sands, which is two mana, the Untap Lotus Field. So, Twiddle the Namesake card, the original of this effect from all the way back in Alpha, is just one mana. You can tap or untap an artifact creature or land. So, if we get on our Lotus Field, we tap it for two mana, Twiddle, untap it for one mana, we're plus two mana. Dreams Grip, basically the same. It has a twine, so we can tap and untap something for two mana, but really, most of the time, like, 99% of the time, it's just another twiddle. We can cast it to untap our Lotus Field, gain two mana in the process. Vizier of Tumbling Sands is nice because it also draws us a card. We cycle it for two mana, untap a permanent, which will be Lotus Field, draw a card along the way, so that nets us one mana. So all these cards, once we have Lotus Field going, are technically rituals. Like, the way to think about Twiddle in this deck is it's a dark ritual. We are casting it for one mana, it's adding three mana with Lotus Field. Same with Dreams Grip, so basically we're turning these janky blue cards into our own version of Dark Ritual in the modern format. However, the biggest payoff, the most important one for this deck, is Psychic Puppetry. So Psychic Puppetry, it's basically a twiddle that costs two mana. The big deal, though, is you can splice it onto Arcane for one mana. So it's a really weird mechanic. Basically, splice on Arcane means when you cast an Arcane spell, you can see Psychic Puppetry is Arcane itself, but when you cast an Arcane spell, you can pay the splice cost, and you basically add the effect of the splice card onto the other card. So, uh, to stick with this example, we Psychic Puppetry, we could splice another Psychic Puppetry for one additional blue mana, and then we'd untap two permanents for three total mana. Two for the original, one for the splice. Uh, so this card is really key. So our deck is overloaded with arcane spells that draw us cards. Reach through mist, ideas unbound, peer through depths. So these are our ways of digging through our deck, finding our combo pieces, finding more cards, off, finding more untapped cards for our Lotus Field, and we're getting to untap along the way. So uh, picture the scenario we got set up. Uh, essentially, what Lotus Field does in this combo is turn these cards into free card draw spells, essentially. Uh, Reach Through Mist actually generates a mana, so we cast Reach Through Mist for one mana. We splice Psychic Puppetry to it for another mana to untap our Lotus Field. We spend two mana to get three mana from our Lotus Field, and we draw a card from Reach Through Mist. As far as Ideas Unbound and Peer Through Depths, they don't generate mana, but they're mana neutral. We spend two on Ideas Unbound, one displace our Psychic Puppetry, uh, 
So three mana total, but we make that three mana from one Lotus Field tap, and we get to draw three cards. Yeah, we discard them at end of turn, but that's fine because we're hopefully winning the game immediately. Pure Through Depths digs five cards deep for an instant or sorcery. We can splice Psychic Puppetry for one more, so three mana from Lotus Field, three mana for Pure Through Depths splicing Psychic Puppetry, untaps our Lotus Field. So basically, all these spells become free, keep us churning through our deck, finding our combo pieces. We also have one Eye of Nowhere, uh, just an arcane boomerang, essentially. So we can bounce a creature, slow our opponent down, even bounce a land, bounce a hate card if there's a Thalia or something. Plus, we could still splice onto it. So that's the engine of the deck. All the twiddles, tapping and untapping, eventually psychic puppetry with all these arcane spells, keep on tapping, retapping, untapping, retapping, digging through our deck to win the game. Eventually, we're looking for uh, two cards, essentially. Past in Flames is a card that makes it so we're pretty much guaranteed to play through our entire deck. We cast it, we can recast all of our instants and sorceries that we've already cast, all of our twiddles for more mana, which are rituals, essentially, remember, all of our card draw spells. So that allows us to recast all of our deck and play through our entire deck, and then the end game is Grape Shot. We Grape Shot, we've cast more than 20 spells, we copy it more than 20 times, we deal more than 20 damage to our opponent's face, win the game. So that's essentially the deck. We also have one Merchant Scroll as a way to tutor up uh, Psychic Puppetry primarily, but it can grab other things too. Serum Vigid, Sleight of Hands, just set things up in the early game, turn through a deck, fight our Lotus Field, find our combo pieces. Mana Base, really simple. Lotus Fields, four Shivan Reefs. Uh, we do need red mana for some of our cards, but normally our red cards, Grape Shot and also Passive Flames, we're only casting them after we have Lotus Field, so Lotus Field makes our red mana anyway, so we don't need that many dual lands. Lonely Sandbar, can be a land or we can cycle it if we need to a bunch of basics in the sideboard we got mostly cards to either allow us to win through our opponent's sideboard cards or ways to protect our combo so aria flame empty the warrens they are essentially storm cards that don't care about the graveyard we're in a hog egg meta still people are going to have a lot of graveyard hate past in flames with grape shot kind of needs a graveyard a lot of times in theory we can grape shot without it but it's much easier to grape shot win if we have our graveyard uh to flash everything back Back. So Arya Flames, empty the Warrens, allow us to storm off and win without our graveyard. Empty just makes a huge board full of goblins. Arya Flames, we just play it and then cast all of our Twiddle spells to up our storm count and deal damage with Arya Flames. Echoey Truth, wipe away and rebuild, allow us to defend our combo from our opponent's disruption. Thalia's, graveyard hates, damping spheres, uh, all the stuff that can slow down a storm style combo deck. Uh, so those are all helpful as well. Flame Slash, Fry, give us a little bit of removal, and that is Twiddle Storm for modern and that's our budget magic deck for this week so let's get to the gameplay see how this crazy lotus field fueled turn your random twiddles into dark ritual deck works in the format thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoy it and i will talk to you soon all right budget magic time we are playing some twiddle storm in modern and i think we're gonna mulligan this hmm all right, this is fine. We will keep. We'll put an island to the bottom. I mean, we got our Lotus Field. We got an Ideas Unbound. We got a Psychic Puppetry. This could work. This could work. Temple Garden for our opponent. Untapped. And Glistener Elf. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we're going to have to win quickly here. Island and Serum Visions. Put on top. So next turn, we play a land. The following turn, we win. All right, put on top, put on top. I mean, I think that this hand, if we get a turn, if we get to turn three without dying, then we win the game. On the other end, when you see an infect creature come down on turn one, there's always a risk of not getting to turn three. Might of Old Crosa, opponent cracks, breeding pool, noble high arc. Huh, yeah, not looking great for the old make it to turn three plan. Opponent gets and hits us. Mutagenic growth. Oh, all right, well. And uh, that looks like the full combo. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, not much you can do about that. Sometimes your opponent just adds the whole, the whole full Monty. Uh, I guess if there's good news, it's that our opponent uh, didn't get to see what we're doing. So, score. Man, we had a, we had a solid turn three kill, too. It just was not fast enough because our opponent had a turn two kill on the play. Well, I guess if there's any condolence there, it's that that draw would have beaten basically everyone in modern. Uh, all right, this hand doesn't do anything, so we got a mulligan. 
<sighs> this one will keep, although I'm a little sad that we're short of land. We have most of what we want, minus the fact that we need an extra land to play this Lotus Field. We have card draw. We have untap effects. So this is potential turn three, but we need to draw land this turn. We do have 19 in our deck, so the odds aren't that bad. Wooded Foothills for our opponent. Cracks it. Breeding pool. And Glistener Elf. All right, looks like our opponent's taking advantage of the old London Mulligan. That's not a land. Well, draw a card. Also not a land. Ooh, the nightmare. The nightmare. Ugh. We did the hard part, but not the easy part. That's Ink Moth for our opponent. Hmm. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Opponent has scale up. Goes to combat. Gets in for six. Sure. Six, in fact. We draw. There's a... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, is this... This is rough. This is rough. Um... <sighs> hmm... So we can Eye of Nowhere, but land, Pump Spell, Ink Moth is death. We can wait and twice... Eh, all right. Sure. Bounce Glistener Elf. See if we remain alive. Oh, we were so close in both of these games. Our opponent just had really fast kills. Well, let's see. Let's see if we get a turn three. If we untap, our odds of winning are pretty high. Our hand is set up for it. But do we untap is the question. Ugh, we would have been winning this turn if we had if we had uh, made our land drop on turn two, but it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, I assume we're dead. Ink Moth, Pump Spell. Well, that's unfortunate. Sure. Huh. Okay. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some Twiddle Storm. Twiddle Field Storm in modern and uh this hand does not have lotus field so i think we have to not keep it well this hand will keep we get a couple of setup spells we got lotus field we have psychic puppetry all right uh we will put i have nowhere to the bottom we are on the draw unfortunately opponent mountain and faithless looting lingering souls black cleave cliffs ugh well, that probably means lots of discard. Let's island, serum visions. Um, do we want these? Yeah, put on top, put on top. I mean, we have a pretty solid turn three kill if our opponent can't take our psychic puppetry with a discard spell. If they can, then things get sketchy. Godless Shrine, untapped. Young Pyromancer, well, big turn next turn, big turn next turn. We draw Reefstremis, we sleight of hand. We take Twiddle. We play Shivan Reef. We pass the turn and pray for no discard spell this turn. Inquisition. Well, there's the discard spell this turn. <sighs> Alright, so now it's definitely challenging. We lose our Psychic Puppetry, which means now things are risky. Psychic Puppetry is our most important card here. Because we're able to repeatedly untap with it with these reach through mess. So we gotta hope we draw another one. Yeah, takes the puppetry. Ooh, so close. Opponent gets it and hits us. Sure. Down to 18. We untap. Lotus Field number three. Do things get better by waiting? Yeah, play Lotus Field. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Lotus Field, sack the lands. Pass the turn. Oh, we needed that psychic puppetry desperately. Opponent. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? These two Lotus Fields are pretty dead. We would rather not draw all Lotus Fields. One we need, but three, that's actually a negative. Wow. We had a turn three kill if our opponent didn't have the Inquisition. But, I mean, we're playing against Thoughtseize Tribal, so they always have Inquisitions. A million of them. Opponent, Thoughtseizes. Takes Twiddle. Well, come on, Psychic Puppetry. You can do it, Magic Gods. Opponent goes to combat. Gets it. Hits us. Down to 15. Passes. And play Shivan Reef. Pass the turn. Opponent. Bloodstained Mire. Cracks Bloodstained Mire. Gets a mountain. Season Pyromancer. Gonna draw some new cards. 
Discards a dead fatal push, goes to combat. Ugh, we're running short on time. Opponent gets it and hits us. Down to 11. Passes. Come on, deck. Ooh, Psychic Puppetry. All right, here we go, here we go. Now we got a shot. So, uh, tap Lotus Field. Cast Reach Through Miss. Splice Psychic Puppetry to untap Lotus Field. Oh, we need card draw, though. Float for mana. Reach Through Miss. Splice Psychic Puppetry to untap it. Ooh, Peer Through Depths is good. That's That helps. So, Peer Through Depths. Splice psych Psychic Puppetry to untap it. Wait, so peer through depths. Splice psychic puppetry, untap into past in flames. Hopefully this means we get to win now. So float for red. Actually, hmm. Float for blue. Untap with twiddle. Past in flames. Now, float for blue, reach through miss. Flashback psychic puppetry to untap. And now we shouldn't be able to fizzle. Float for blue. Same thing. Reach through miss. Splice puppetry to untap. Oh, it's working. Oh, there's grape shot too. That is also good. Float for blue. Peer through depths. Splicing psychic puppetry to untap. Take ideas unbound. That's more card draw. Untap. Ideas unbound. Splice psychic puppetry to untap. Oh, I think we're doing it through two discard spells. Untap. Add mana. Cycle Vizier. Untap. Mana increasing. Draw a card. Play Shiv and Reef. Peer through depths. Splice Psychic Puppetry to untap. Take Ideas Unbound. Ideas Unbound. Splice Puppetry. Untap. Reach through Miss. Splice Puppetry to untap. Um, float for mana, psychic puppetry to untap Lotus Field, psychic puppetry spliced. Can we untap Lotus Field twice? We probably can, but I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up. Oh, uh, we can't. Okay. Untap, untap. Float for mana, twiddle, untap. Float for mana, twiddle, untap. Mana, sleight of hand, take dreams grip. Serum Visions, uh, bottom, bottom, Sleight of Hand, Peer Through Depths, Peer Through Depths, Storm Count 18, oh, alright, well, let's just win, Grape Shot you, 19, going to the face, and that is Budget Twiddle Storm through multiple discard spells, whew, that was good, that was good, that was very good, Whoo! All right, all right, all right. That is the plan in action. Half of our deck through the discard, and that was pretty impressive, I have to say. That was pretty good for our deck. So, since our opponent is probably going to have a bunch of graveyard hate, I think we want to bring in Aria Flames. Uh, I think that's number one. To reduce our reliance on the graveyard, to get around the graveyard hate, um... So Aria Flames in, maybe trim a couple past in Flames. We can trim maybe like one Twiddle. I kind of want to empty the Warrens too. Do we want to fight our opponent's creatures? Probably not. I think we mostly, I think we mostly just want to try to combo. Can we get to empty the Warrens in? Well, let's go down one Vizier as well. All right, try like that. Twiddle Storm, game two against Pyromancers. Game one went well. Oh, I thought those discard spells were going to get us, but we survived. We survived. Ooh. All right, we're going to keep this. A little bit risky because we have double Lotus Field, but we are on the draw, and we theoretically have a Serum Vision. Well, all right, maybe we don't have a Serum Visions. Take Serum Visions. Well, now we do need to draw a land. Land go, opponent. Oh, all the discard in the West takes peer through depths land new no. all right so pass the turd mountain for our opponent oh, holy discard collective brutality well opponent has cast discard every turn of this game all right serum visions this should find us a land at least put on top put on top all right pass the turn 
Oh, we are doing this the slowest way, opponent. Oh my god. <laughs> Four turns in a row of discard. Takes ideas unbound. Play an island. Pass the turn. Well, this would be a very impressive win. Five! Five in a row! Takes ideas unbound. Hmm. So what happens... One, two, three, four, five. One to untap. So we can't win this turn. Yeah. Play Lotus Field. Sack our lands. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Planes. So my goodness. Wow. Okay. I mean, yeah. That is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Smiting Hex. Lingering Souls. Well, let's peer through depths. Take puppetry. Untap. Oh, there we go. All right, so tap. Untap. Tap for red. Passed in flames. Leaving a blue floating. Twiddle. Untap. I think we... Wow! I think we are going to do this through discard literally every turn of the game. Ideas unbound. Splicing Puppetry, untap, float for mana, ideas unbound, splicing Puppetry, Pona scoops it up, oh my goodness, whoa, oh my god, wow, uh, well, that says something about this deck, that is literally the most discard I have ever played against in Modern. We played against Mardu Pyromancer. Our opponent went Inquisition, Inquisition, Brutality, Brutality, Thought Seize, Thought Seize. Six turns of discard in a row, picking apart our combo pieces, and we still won. We still won. It took a little longer than we wanted, but that was a super impressive performance for this deck. I mean, I don't know how much more hand disruption you can play against. That is literally, like, the most you can possibly get. Every turn for six turns in a row. And Twiddlestorm, don't care. It don't care. And I guess, one of the things I was wondering with this deck is, why do you play this over traditional Storm? Like, what's the upside to Twiddlestorm? And one of the big upsides is, Lotus Field... You can't get it with Thoughtseize. You can't get it with Inquisition or Collective Brutality. And that is one of our biggest combo pieces. We have lots of redundancy. Uh, so the protective aspect, the resilience of Lotus Field, super huge there. I think if we were playing a traditional Storm deck and we got hit by six discard spells in a row, there's almost no way that we would win. That is so much disruption. But because Lotus Field don't care about your discard, uh, Twiddlestorm gets it done. Whew. All right, all right, all right. All right, budget magic time. We are twiddle storming in modern, and we're going to keep this. I mean, unfortunately, our turn one land is lonely sandbar, but as long as we hit a land on turn two to play Lotus Field on turn three, we have some chance of just winning on turn three. We have a Dreams Grip. We have two untaps. And then we have a Past in Flames. So it could work. Lotus, uh, so opponent, yes. Cycles of Street Wraith, gets a Blood Crypt. Well, here comes the discard, I presume. Cycle of Street, man. Turn one, turn one Death Shadow? All right, opponent does a bunch of stuff, passes. Well, we will Sleight of Hand. Better at hitting a land this turn than Serum Vision. Okay, now, now we're probably in trouble. Ugh. Uh, that was unlucky <laughs> to be able to look at three cards and not hit land number two. Yeah, that is, that is very bad. Vern Catacombs, opponent cracks it. Seven cards in hand. Oh, that was super unfortunate. Uh, opponent, stomping grounds, untap down to ten. Cycle Street Wraith to eight. And Renin Six, okay. That's fine, Renin Six isn't actually that good against us. Gets back a land. Opponent, passing. We draw. Not a land. Well, we'll Serum Visions. Oh my goodness. This is not good. All right, so we will pass the turn. We will discard a... I guess passed in flames. Ugh. Why are our, our lands? Mishra's Bobble. So we get a land next turn. The problem is we're giving our opponent an infinite amount of time to find a way to kill us. 
We're two turns behind because we could not find land number two. Opponent cracks for catacombs. And this opens us up to discard, potentially. Overground tomb. Untapped down to five. Gets back a land. Liliana. Hmm. We'll discard the vizier, I guess. Opponent gets to draw a card. Well, we finally draw land, so play the land past the turn. And we'll see. We'll see if we can pull this off next turn. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Missing lands for those turns made this a lot slower and riskier than we needed it to be. Uh, we will discard a Peer Through Depths. Well, let's see what our opponent has. They are down to five, so I guess the good news is we don't need that much storm there's a thought sees <sighs> oh deck why did you do this to us why well i mean we still might be okay we would have definitely been okay if we just hit our land drops like a normal person off of our sleight of hands as it is uh it's a little sketchy thankfully our hands redundant and we got a psychic puppetry on top of our deck so we still have a chance here if our opponent has more discard then it could be an issue Oh, man, that would have been so sweet and easy if we just hit, hit our land drops. Opponent must have a bunch of removal in hand, I would assume. Opponent takes a Twiddle and traverses the Uvenwald. Gets a Death Shadow. Plays the Death Shadow. Over into him. Tapped. Okay, well, let's win. Gets back a land. Mishra's Bobble. Cracks it, takes a peek. Sure, sure, sure. Opponent passes. Well, here we go. Let's see if we can assemble a win from here. Bobble, opponent draws. So we float our mana. We play Lotus Field. Sack our lands. Then we Dream Grip. Untap Lotus Field. We float mana. Reach through mist. Splice puppetry. Untap. Another reach through mist is fine. Reach through mist. Splice puppetry. Untap. One more time. Reach through mist. Splice puppetry. Untap. Red. Passed in flames. And now we should be good. We get to twiddle. Untap Lotus Field. Lotus Field. Uh, reach through miss. Splice puppetry. Untap. Uh, tap it. Reach through miss. Puppetry. Untap. Then we will, I guess we could win right now, but I, uh, I don't know what could go wrong. And I'm kind of having fun, so let's wait a minute. Reach through miss, untap. Float mana, peer through depths, untap. For a dream's grip. Eh, all right, let's just finish it. Grape shot, your face. And uh, that should do it. Same targets. And uh, yeah, okay. Little slower than we wanted, but still pretty effective. Getting the job done against Jund Death Shadow. All right, opponent's playing Jund Death Shadow. So in this matchup, hmm. Opponent, probably going to have Graveyard Hate. Aria Flames isn't guaranteed, though. They could also most likely have interaction for that. I think we want to empty the Warrens. Going down Viziers. And then maybe, like, go down Merchant Scroll for Aria Flame. And let's go down one Past in Flames. We'll just, we'll split up. We'll play two each of three different finishers. I guess four counting Grape Shot. Couple of Arias, couple of Empties, couple of Past in Flames, couple of Grape Shots. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And, yeah, see what happens. I don't think we need the bounce spells. I don't think our opponent has, like, Staxi enchantments for us to worry about. They probably have Leyline of the Void, though. On to game two. We're on the draw. No Lotus Field, but a bunch of redraws. Hmm. No untapping, either. I think we mulligan this. Well, all right. This one we're going to keep. We will put a empty to the bottom. Getting ley lined. I mean, this hand's fine, especially for not having a lotus field. We we have two cantrips, two twiddles, so it could it could be fine. Opponent's going to five, which probably isn't a bad thing for us. Peatland and traverse. Yep, it's a swamp and passes. Uh, we draw an island. Slight of hand. Take ideas unbound. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. And Tarmogoyf. Alright, a threat has been achieved. Well, let's sleight of hand. Looking for Lotus Field. Uh, we'll take... Hmm. Hmm. Let's take Dream Grip. Play an island. Sleight of hand. Well, take Arya Flame. Pass the turn. We're in good shape, minus not having a Lotus Field. That's, uh, that's what's getting us right now. Opponent, Inquisition... 
Uh, I assume they take Aria Flame here. Grow the Goyf. I mean, I guess they could take the Ideas Unbound. Takes a Dream Grip. Overground Tomb, untapped. Opponent. Gets in with the Goyf for two. Down to 18. Passes. Twiddle. All right. There goes our Dream Grip. That also shuffles a bunch of cards that we didn't really want back into our deck, which isn't great. Ugh, we're probably going to have to just fire off Ideas Unbound, which is also not great. All right. Well, Ideas Unbound. Draw some cards. Huh. All right. Pass the turn. Discard. Land. Land. Aria Flame. Grow the Goyf. Huh. Well, this is the risk of the deck. We are very dependent on Lotus Field. And without Lotus Field, opponent loses a life trying to get to Death Shadow. Thought sees. Yup. Takes a twiddle. Opponent going to get in for four. And we're running a bit low on time. Down to 14. <laughs> Grape shot. Opponent's going to do Surgical Twiddle. Good lord. All right. Well, this isn't good. Opponent. Yeah. Opponents had a pretty good hand against us. Although, I think we would have been fine if we had managed to hit a Lotus Field. That's the big problem. I think we would have overcome all this. We just have not been able to find a Lotus Field. And now we're going to die to Tarmogoyf. Opponent cashes in the Peatland desperately, drawing for more cards. Cycle Street Wraith, the seven. Catacombs. Opponent gets in. We're down to nine. Yeah, we are really running short on time here. Well, peer through depths. Take, hmm, puppetry. Can we draw a Lotus Field one time? Who we can. Well, all right. Lotus Field. Sagar lands. Pass the turn. Huh! <sighs> no discard, please. We have a chance next turn. We finally found Lotus Field. What does our opponent have? Cracks catacombs to six. Thinning the deck. Stomping grounds. Tap. Untaps. No discard. No discard. No discard. Two cards in hand. We don't need that high of a storm count for Grape Shot. Opponents down to six because they have been hurting themselves. Oh, this is going to be close. We're definitely short on Twiddle effects because of those surgicals. Forest. Traverse. Is there a creature our opponent can get that m ruins this for us? Death Shadow. All right, well, we're definitely dead next turn. So we just got to win this turn. Easy breezy. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to four. We untap, we draw. All right, reach through miss is good. So Lotus Field, reach through miss. Puppetry, splice, untap. Um, peer through depths. Splice puppetry, untap. Take grape shot. Tap for blue, untap. Tap for blue, untap. Tap for red. Grape shot you. For five. Second grape shot coming through. Coming through. Through double surgical. Grape shot number two to the face. And that does it. That does it. Whoo! All right. The deck is working through a lot of disruption. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Double surgical taking our twiddles and twiddle storm still getting it done this deck is pretty sweet <laughs> and that does it all right all right all right all right uh not bad not bad for the twiddle storm not bad at all all right budget magic time we are playing some who some twiddle storm in modern and we don't have Twiddle. We don't have a way to untap. We don't have Lotus Field. Eh, all right. Ugh. Well, we definitely can't keep this. Well, all right. I guess this is a keep. Not a good keep, but it is a keep. Put some stuff to the bottom. If we draw Lotus Field, we uh, we have a chance. Wooded Foothills for our opponent. Passes. Well, play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks Wooded Foothills. Grabs a forest. And mountain. Secure Tribe Elder. All right, so opponent's scapeshifting, I assume. Past in Flames. Well, that's Ideas Unbound. See if we can find a Lotus Field. Um, yeah, just cast it. Lotus Field. Okay, that's a Lotus Field. So, play Lotus Field. Sack our lands. Discard two islands past in Flames? Hmm. All right, we'll see if we can get there from here. It's going to be tough, but it's not impossible. 
Past in Flames is five. And then we need at least one mana left over to Dream's Grip. So you're a dry Elder. And, oh no, Relic. Okay, Relic, but our opponent doesn't have the mana. So we gotta win this turn, basically. Reach Through Mist. That's not bad. That's actually super good. All right, Reach Through Mist. Splice Puppetry, untap Lotus Field. Tap Lotus Field, cycle Vizier. Untap Lotus Field. On the Mold of Five? Maybe? Draw a card. Dream's Grip. Untap Lotus Field. Dream's Grip. Untap Lotus Field. Make some red mana. Past in Flames. Now we get to Reach Through Miss. Splice Puppetry to untap. Uh, that's not a great draw. Lotus Field. Ideas Unbound. Flashback. Untap Lotus Field. Okay. Well, Lotus Field, untap. Can we get there? Lotus Field, untap. Serum Visions. Uh, okay. There's a Peer Through Depths. So, Puppetry Bottom, Peer Through Depths Top. Serum Visions. Draw the Peer Through Depths. Ooh, double Peer Through Depths. Put on top, put on top. Make some mana, twiddle. Untap Lotus Field. Cycle, Lonely Sandbar, Sleight of Hand, take the Peer Through Depths, back to the plan, tap, Peer Through Depths, Splice, Puppetry, untap, and I think we should get there now. Take a Reach, untap, Reach Through the Mist, Splice, untap, Peer Through Depths, Splice, untap, alright, Reach Through Depths, Reach Through Mist. Merchant Scroll, okay. Well, Lotus Field, Peer Through Depths, Splice Puppetry, take Grape Shot, and that should do it. That should be enough. Untap, Merchant Scroll, take a Peer Through Depths, Peer Through Depths, Splice, Untap, uh, take Ideas Unbound, Storm Count 19, and yeah, Grape Shot. I mean, we could keep going, but I don't think we need to. Our opponent has been nice enough to sit through this, so let's let's just try to kill him nice and quick, nice and friendly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, turn four, racing past Scapeshift. And opponent down to zero. Uh, all right, so opponent, we know they have some graveyard hate. Um, so I think we go down a past in flames, go up a couple Arya flames, go up a couple of, uh, go up and empty the Warrens. Go down the Viziers, and maybe bring in an Echoing Truth, I guess, over the Merchant Scroll, and just try it like that. Uh, this hand, no Lotus Field. This hand, I think, is even worse. I guess we're going to five again. It worked last time. Ooh, this five isn't exciting. Uh, Grape Shot bottom, Peer Through Depths bottom. All right, well, we won on five last time. Let's see if we can do it again. Opponent, Cinderglade, and passes. Well, Island, and Sleight of Hand. Take Shivan Reef. I mean, Shivan Reef is step one towards getting to a Lotus Field. We got a Puppetry. We got some card draw, so it's possible. Opponent. Vamping Sphere. That is an annoyance. Opponent passes. Shivan Reef. Go. Hmm. Probably should have brought in more Echoing Truths. Ideas Unbound is a... Uh, Eye of Nowhere is kind of a tough one to, to use on Damping Sphere. Because we got to do a main phase. It can work, but... Opponent passes. Grape Shot. Well, we will... Ideas Unbound. Hmm. Play Lonely Sandbar. Pass the turn. Discard. Grape Shot. Reach Through Miss. And one Puppetry. All right, all right, all right, all right. Opponent. Search for Tomorrow's. Opponent. All right, let's Sleight of Hand. Uh, take a Sleight of Hand. Play a Sleight of Hand. Uh, take a Serum Visions. This isn't looking great. Opponent passes. Well, let's serum visions. Well, there's our Lotus Field. So Island Bottom, Lotus Field Top. Play the Island. Well, we will see. We will see if we can can actually turn this into a victory, or if we actually get a turn. If our opponent has Scape Shift, we're dead. Opponent. Passing. Alright. Well, we gotta give it a go. Untap, Lotus Field. Eye of Nowhere. Ugh. So wait. Play Lo float our mana, play Lotus Field. Sack our lands. 
Eye of Nowhere, Splice Puppetry, Untap Lotus Field, Lotus Field, Ideas Unbound, Splice, Untap, Ideas Unbound, Sp actually we can double splice? That doesn't do anything though. All right, Ideas Unbound, Ideas Unbound, Splice, Puppetry, Untap, hmm, well, make mana, Untap, make mana, Untap, Past in Flames, opponent bolts us, okay, oh, okay, we got there, tap mana, and now we're, now we're good, Dreams Grip, Untap Lotus Field, mana, uh, Psychic Puppetry, actually, let's just, Ideas Unbound, Puppetry, Untap, we just need a, a finisher, yup, mana, Ideas Unbound, Splicing, to Untap, this looks like two Moldifives. Mana, Puppetry, Untap, Splice Puppetry, Untap. Mana, Ideas Unbound, Splicing Puppetry to Untap. Um, Tap, Twiddle, Untap. Tap, Dreams Grip, Untap. Tap, Peer Through Depths, Splicing Puppetry, Untap. Take a Dreams Grip. I mean, we basically need to find a grape shot. Lotus Field, untap. Peer through depths, splicing puppetry, untap. I mean, we have a million mana. Um, I'll take a sleight of hand. Any order, untap. Serum Visions, bottom, bottom. Serum Visions, bottom, bottom. Sleight of hand, take Serum Visions. Where's our grape shots? One's in the graveyard. That's We didn't take out a grape shot, did we? We didn't. Now, bottom, bottom. Oh, my goodness. Mana, untap. Red mana, passed in flames. Uh, I guess we could just pass in flames and do it that way. That works. Puppetry, untap, grape shot. Your face? Yeah. I mean, we could keep going, but our opponent's super nice, and I don't want to try to... I don't want to go crazy. I mean, they could have some ridiculous life gain that we're not thinking of, which would be sad, but I think we're good. Okay. Opponent. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and budget twiddle storm. Take it out another win. Whoo. All right, all right, all right. Whew. Man, that deck is sweet. It is super sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are twiddle storming in modern, and uh, do we keep going? Do we keep going? This hand's not good. We do have a sleight of hand, uh, but we need land and lotus field. We are on the draw. Eh, all right, whatever. We'll try it. Uh, we will put peer through depths to the bottom. I mean, we get to sleight of hand, we're on the draw, so if we hit a land, it becomes easier. Oh, dear. Ugh. All right. Well, this becomes less easy. <laughs> oh, without this sleight of hand, life is very sketchy. Well, come on, magic gods. <laughs> Give it to us, opponent. Well, there's Lotus Field. That is card number one we wanted to draw. Okay. Wow, that was fortunate. Well, now we just need to hit another land essentially could use some more twiddles but we might fire off this reach through mist to try to make sure we hit our land drop i guess we can wait and see if we just draw a land puppetry well now we gotta reach through miss land please please all right that's shiv and reef pass the turn all right well i mean in theory we can try to go for it next turn oh that's veil abby bitter blossom I mean, I think we're going to try to go for it. Opponent passes. Let's see what we draw. Serum Visions. Well, Float Mana, Lotus Field. Sack our lands. Twiddle, Untap. Mana, Vizier. Cycle, Untap. Peer Through Depths. Splice Puppetry, Untap. Uh, all right, take Peer Through Depths. Peer Through Depths. Actually... All right, float our mana, peer through depths, splice puppetry, untap, take ideas unbound. Wow, put a lot of stuff to the bottom. Float our mana, ideas unbound, 
Splice puppetry. Untap. Ugh. That wasn't very good. Whoo, we might be fizzling. Uh, Serum Visions. Well, put on top. Put on top. Wow, we fizzled. And, uh, yeah, pass, uh, pass the turn. Huh, okay. Well, we did a lot of stuff. We have to discard these three lands. Pass the turn. I mean, we're kind of set up to try again, maybe, depending on what our opponent has. Our hand is pretty redundant. Opponent plays a planes. And we're not under that much pressure, so we might get a, another shot at it next turn. We ran out of card draw and didn't hit a past in flames. Hmm. Maybe we should have put the dream grip to the bottom, actually, to try to hit more card draw. Because that's our easiest way of fizzling here, is just whiffing on card draw. Opponent. All right. Runs out some tokens. Sure. Goes to combat. Passes. Well, we untap. Let's try this again. Uh, ideas unbound. Splice puppetry. Untap. Well, there's another one. Man, we're going to have to discard everything after this turn. Uh, okay. Ideas unbound. Splice puppetry. Untap. All lands. Uh, cycle lonely sandbar? Card draw? Eye of nowhere. Ha. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to have two cards in hand? Good God. Hmm. Well, now I think we've just gotten unlucky to not hit a <laughs> past in flames. Okay, so pass the turn. Yeah, that's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yikes. Oh, God. <laughs> We've gone through a lot of our deck and not been able to hit a Bastion Flames to close out this game. That is very far from ideal. Opponent, tapping, untapping. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that was brutal. Legion's Landing, sure. Now the other problem is, even if we draw past in flames, I mean, I guess if we draw past in flames, it's fine. Opponent gets in. We've gotten a lot of non past in flames cards out of the way. Hits us, flips. We're running a little light on time as well. Down to 13. We have two turns, probably. Opponent passes. Oh, boy. Okay. Sandbar. I don't cycle it. Play a land. Pass the turn. Wow. Huh. All of our passive flames must be hanging out at the bottom. Opponent. Bitter Blossom. All right. All right. All right. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. We're dead. Well, huh. Well, that I think was more of a math issue where we just, uh, we just could not hit a, a payoff. That is the TLDR of that one. So I think we bring in Echoing Truce, and then probably Aria of Flames. Go down the two Viziers, go down the Merchant Scroll, go down one Twiddle, and I guess one Serum Visions, run it like that. Whoo! Yeah, I think mathematically, we probably should have won, or like, should have hit the Passing Flames and won. All right, well, I guess we'll keep this because we have a bunch of card draw. We do need to find... We do need to find land and lotus field. Oh, God. Okay. Those were neither of the cards we wanted. To the bottom. Planes for our opponent. Nile Spellbomb. And passes. Well, we will Sleight of Hand. Get an island. Play the island. Sleight of Hand. Lotus field. Pass the turn. Okay. Well, we might be able to try next turn. We're a little... We don't have a... Hmm. We don't have a Psychic Puppetry. That's what we're missing most. Plans for our opponent. Legion's Landing. And, well, let's see what we draw. If we draw Puppetry, we should be able to win. And we draw Puppetry. All right. Well, we're going for it. Uh, so we will float our mana, Lotus Field, sack our lands. Then we Dream's Grip, untap Lotus Field. Now we reach through Miss, splice Psychic Puppetry to untap. Ideas Unbound. Splice Puppetry to untap. Ooh, another one. That's good. Ideas Unbound. Splice Puppetry. I don't think we're going to fizzle this time. To untap. Um, Can we get down Arya? One, two, three. We're a mana short, so we need to peer through depths. Splicing Puppetry to untap. We need a one mana untap effect, and then we can get down Arya, hopefully. Peer through depths gets us... Um... Let's take Dream's Grip. Put stuff to the bottom. 
untap, float mana, peer through depths. Actually, you know, we should get down Arya first. Float mana, untap, red mana, play Arya Flames. Opponent up to 30, temporarily, peer through depths, splicing puppetry to untap. Hit our opponent. Take, um, I guess ideas unbound. Untap, ideas unbound. Splashing our puppetry. Untap, hit our opponent. And this should let us win without using the graveyard through the graveyard hate. Uh, float our mana, peer through depths. Splicing puppetry, untap, hit our opponent. Take a ideas unbound. Ideas unbound, puppetry, untap. So it's getting a little bit hit our swans, draw a card-ish, but it's working. Opponent, down to 24. And opponent scoops it up. Yeah, I don't think we were going to fizzle. We would have hit a reach through miss. Reach through miss, reach through miss, reach through miss. Lotus field, but we have sleight of hand. Eh, I think we would have got there. Our our spell count was high enough that I think we would have got there. Well, that was a turn three kill. Through graveyard hate, thanks to our sideboard cards. Uh, let's go up an empty too. Go up an empty, go down a past in flames. And yeah, run it like that. Huh, this deck is sweet. This deck is sweet. Ooh. I mean, I think we have to keep this. It's really hard to ship a Lotus Field hand. We're a little action light. We don't have any untappers. But we have Lotus Field. We can cycle. We got a sleight of hand. I think this is good enough. Especially since we have this cycling land. Plans for our opponent. And passing. So now we're mostly looking for untappers. Are you a flame? Interesting. Uh, land sleight of hand. Puppetry. Well, that is good if our opponent doesn't have discard. Planes for our opponent. Damping Sphere. That is very annoying. Well, now we need to find an answer for that. Play Shivan Reef. Um, yeah, let's just pass. We do have the Echoing Truce to bounce it eventually. Hanweir Militia Captain. Okay. Uh, let's cycle Lonely Sandbar. Cycle another Lonely Sandbar. Opponent passes. Uh, play Shivan Reef. Arya Flame. Pass the turn. So now, if we can find Echoing Truth, we should be able to parlay that into winning. We can also play a really janky game plan where we start tapping down our opponent's threats if we have to. Yep, there goes... We did want the peer through depths. That's one of our easier ways to find an Echoing Truth. I don't even think we can play Lotus Field until we... Nile Spellbomb. I don't think we can play it until we find Echoing Truth. Passed in Flames. Well, this is awkward. Well, reach through miss. And I guess splicing doesn't even do anything. Yeah, cast reach through miss. Ping our opponent. Draw a card. <laughs> Twiddle. <sighs> yeah, pass the turn. I don't think we can load his field. Opponent untaps. Shambling vent. Two cards in hand. Combat gets in. Hits us. Yup. Down to 14. Damping Sphere number two. Passes. Wow. That actually would have worked if our opponent hadn't hit the second one. Hmm. So incredibly awkward. Yeah, I guess we pass. <laughs> we can bounce this. Is it even worth it? We gotta spend life to do it. I don't think it is yet. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. One card in hand. We need that echoing truth. And we don't mind hitting card draw to keep us alive. Opponent fires up Shambling Fen. Oh, goodness. Tap it. We can't let our opponent start gaining life. Hit our opponent to 25. <laughs> Not how we drew it up. Opponent, Gobat, gets it. Hits us. Down to 12. Passes. We draw an island. Well, play the island. Eye of Nowhere. Bounce Shambling Fen. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Shambling vent. Uh oh. A threat. Battle screech. Alright, here comes the dorks. Oh, uh, that's gonna transform shortly, too. Yikes! We need this echoey truth soon. Very, very soon. Opponent passes. Reach through miss. Alright, we gotta pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Intangible virtue to speed up the clock. Oh, we're running out of time. Opponent, combat, gets in, hits us to six. 
Well, we reach through Miss Splice Puppetry. Tap Nile Spellbomb. Uh, Serum Visions. Untap. Reach through Miss. Well, let's Serum Visions hit our opponent to 12. Bottom. Bottom. Past the turn. Oh, this kills us. Five, six. Wait. Wait, we got, got one chance. One, two, three. Oh, no, we don't. Hmm. Double Damping Sphere. Wait, so if we reach through Miss into a land? If we pass two mana. Wait, we gotta think this through. If we pass the turn. Yeah, these double damping spheres. If we pass the turn, we can Dream Grip, but then we can't do anything else. We're dead to Shambling Fen. Yeah, we have to reach through Miss into an untap land. And we win. Untap land? Pass in flames. All right. Ha! Oh! Might have misplayed on that one. I think we did. So what do we learn this week about Twiddle, Storm, and Modern? And the deck felt really good. Technically, we ended up going three and two. But if you really look at our matches, uh, we lost to Infect in our very first match where opponent just killed us turn two and then turn three, I believe. Uh, in turn three was through disruption. We even hit a bounce spell for Infect Creature. We were still dead. So our opponent just basically raced us. We had hands where we probably would have won on turn three ourselves, but they just weren't quite fast enough to race the Infect deck. So that happens. It's modern. If you're a turn three deck and your opponent turn twos you, what are you going to do? Then we went on a little bit of a win streak. Titan Shift taking them down. Jun Death Shadow, Maru Pyromancer, including a game against Maru Pyromancer where our opponent literally cast six discard spells over the first six turns. Six! Thought Seizes, Inquisitions, Collective Brutalities tore apart our hand, something that would devastate basically any combo deck in the format, and Twitter, Twiddle Storm just didn't care, and we were easily able to still combo off. And then our last loss against Black White Tokens... I think that I punted that one, honestly. Uh, I probably punted it in multiple ways. We got double damping sphere. We brought in echoing truce but we didn't bring in the rebuilds so probably miss sideboarded but even with the miss sideboarding i think we could have won that game if i wasn't so focused in on the combo we had a pasted flames and an aria on the battlefield which was increasing in damage and we ended up one spell short or one mana short from being able to kill our opponent with aria before they killed us and if we had just cast the pasted flames for no value uh just to trigger aria like a turn or two before the game ended we would have won that one as well. So that one was on me. I was just uh, casting Pastor Flames for no value to trigger Aria Flame. Not the most intuitive line, and I was really focused on the combo. So really, we got turn two to get in fact. We won three in a row against top tier decks, and then we should have won the last one too if I had played slightly better, which means Twiddle Storm was actually super effective. So uh, I don't really know what to say. If you like combo decks, but also janky weird combo decks, if you like turning one mana random Twiddle effects into dark rituals in modern uh it seems like a good option it's only 100 bucks it seems effective i think if you're building on a budget this is probably more effective than building traditional storm on a budget and uh, in some ways it's probably even better than a traditional storm one of the things i was looking for heading into this is what makes twiddle storm better than normal storm like why would you play this version over the other versions and i think the answer is you can still win on turn three so your clock is roughly the same more importantly you don't care as much about the disruption honestly like it's this thought sees game where we got six discard spells against bardu pyromancer i don't think normal storm would have won that there's almost no chance that it would have won it but our deck because lotus field can't get hit by Thought Seize or Collective Brutalia or Inquisition, we are still able to proceed to combo off. We also had some games against like Titan Shift where we mold the five, I think both games in that match and still easily race Titan Shift and comboed off on the mold of five. So all around, uh, the deck felt great. I mean, I wish we got like one more win and went four and one just because it looks better. But really, don't let my mistake of not casting that Bastard Flames to trigger Arya uh, be held against the deck because the deck was super legit for a budget deck. So anyway, 
that's been our budget magic for this week. Twiddle storm for modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.